Greetings everyone, this is P and welcome to a brand new series of no clip videos. A lot of you guys have been asking me to make uh, no clip videos on Modern Warfare 2 since I've done the ones in Modern Warfare 3, which were a great success and I'm really happy and glad about that. Thanks everyone for all of your support. So, to return the favor, I will do a series covering Modern Warfare 2 single player levels while using no clip to explore the levels and see what we can discover out of map or even inside map. So, activating no clip with my key bindings, I will, however, explain how I use no clip in uh, the games, since a lot of you guys have been asking in the previous videos, and of course, the Modern Warfare 2 videos will have commentary. Uh, now, this is the first level SSDD, which doesn't have many things to show. Of course, it's not the remastered version. So yeah, if we this is a starting position, this is inside the map. There's not much to see really apart from out of map areas. We can see the edge of the map over there. We can see some more stuff over here. There's a nice little uh, shed, wooden shed outside over here. Not much to see about it. It's pretty interesting. Nobody really <laughs> paid attention to this, I guess. Now... Uh, there's really not much to see apart from what we can already see from inside the map, uh, which is frankly what happens in most cases. So yeah, anyway, we can see some guys running on the background, outside of the fence, the playable area. We can see those hangers. We'll get to them in a second. There is something interesting about them. <laughs> One thing that we can find interesting in this. Now there's the pit over here, the course oh yes before we go to this area uh, corporal Dunn and these uh, scripted uh, crate models are uh, in uh, and in this position because they play the animation where Dunn opens them it's uh, sort of a map design thing that <laughs> yeah if player doesn't see it doesn't have to be in its position yeah it's like if you go over here they would get in position before you get to see this this misposition anyway Shepard is always up here. Those two animations are from Call of Duty 4, by the way. Mission Kill House, the first level. There, the SAS next to Price. And this is the Price animation from Kill House, of course. Yeah, it's some funny little details I can explain to you guys if I know it. So, yeah, we have those parts over here. This is, again, from Call of Duty 4. Kill House, the gas animation. A little bit not well positioned by but who would see that right this is a new one this is a cool new one okay Got some tents over here some generic tents pretty cool models though AI running around the asphalt and there's an AC-130 which yeah it has the guns and all it's a low uh, quality AC-130 because we never get to see an AC-130 from uh, a very close perspective in um, more warfare series of course except from the boneyard mission where we uh, there are more of parts of AC-130 no not full parts and there is C-130s not AC-130 anyway what do I know <laughs> so yeah this is just the low poly this is the same model they used in Call of Duty 4 by the way I'm not I don't remember where exactly but anyway and this is the tank the bridge tank or whatever it's called that is used in the next level, team prayer, player, team player, <laughs> where it uh, lays down a bridge or something to for us to cross. So yeah, the uh, these things are moving because for some reason the tank uh, vehicle system works a little bit weird in Call of Duty. From my experience with Call of Duty 4 modding, the tra the tank uh, uh, wheels or whatever they are they work a little bit weird so this is a common bug to exist it's also it also exists in call of duty 4 in some static tanks but you can't see it from here so they didn't take the time to fix it so it's nothing to worry about okay these guys yeah of course if you can't see it it shouldn't have any surface that's why they keep removing surfaces that they are out of map that's why we keep seeing those bugs they're not bugs but yeah whatever interesting animations call of duty 4 this is the cool new one, the smoker. Same thing should go over here. Yep. Okay, so now, as promised, I will check these hangers. 
Of course, there's nothing inside. Oh, that's a good find. I've never seen this before. Now, this is a lamp model they <laughs> left here for some reason. That's pretty interesting. That's a nice find. I didn't expect to find this. Good find. And what about the other one? Shouldn't have anything else. I mean, we'll check them all. You can see nice. Okay, let me just remove. Yeah, this should make us. This should make it easier for us to see stuff. Of course, it would make stuff glitch a little bit, but that's not a problem. Okay, it should be the same prefab, just copied and pasted. That's why they all have the same thing. I guess they decided to put that lamp over here, but in the last moment they decided to just pull it back. Like, no, we don't need this. We don't want it to have a lamp over here. So yeah, it kind of makes sense anyway. And I guess the same thing goes here. Oh, we have a ramp here that we can't get. Don't get to see fully over here. Anyway. Okay, very interesting. Okay, that's all from this area. Let's just go to this background area, which has something interesting for us to see. This is the uh, airfield radio tower, airfield uh, control tower or something. Yeah, it's supposed to be that. Of course, lower quality design and texturing from the distance because you can't see that many details. It looks sort of natural from the normal view distance, but from close up, it doesn't look normal. It's quite a regular way of doing stuff in distance yeah <laughs> it's not really a great design by the way but it works it works for what it is a nice plane i'm not sure what kind of plane this is i'm not really familiar with planes some of you guys may know oh that's interesting we have the container <laughs> the container uh, texture of the doors of these hangers that's interesting yeah i wouldn't do that but then again it's not it's not really, there aren't many textures to choose from anyway. Okay, pretty, that's interesting because it seems like they did these in uh, a way that you could see what ha what they have inside, but yeah, we can't really see what's going on inside. But the interesting thing about this area, which is the last thing we can see in this map, is behind these hangars. Which are those little, uh, like, s small roofs or whatever they are. The, and they have those icy uh, spikes or whatever. And it's pretty interesting because this is a desert map. <laughs> and having these is quite absurd. Like, let me just slow down and go over here. You can see... It's pretty weird. Oh, let me just get the M4. So we can shoot them. I guess Foley will start speaking now. Oh, I could just do it with cheats. So anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. If they, yeah, they work just like they would. They their scripted uh, logic. Sure. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the message away. <laughs> okay, this one. Okay, I was just inaccurate. <laughs> so my guess is that. Why would they put this here? Hmm, it's either for testing, either for testing since it's the first level, but I doubt they would test in the first level. They would rather make a new test map from start, an empty map, just to test these, instead of putting them in the first level. So I don't think it's for testing. I think they, for, they uh, initially intended to make this uh, a snow prefab, a snow... Uh, Hanger for cliffhanger maybe, and then they just decided to just change it to a more deserty area. But what do I know? I think it's it it's hard to guess why they're here. It's very really interesting though. It's really interesting. So what I want to see now is since we got to oh that was too fast. Since we got to see them, I want to see if we can see them from inside. Like there is a small corner. Yeah, that's the corner. Oh, they get disappeared from the LODs. You can't actually see them. They get disappeared to save memory. Of course, when you go away from some models, they will either disappear or uh, use their lower poly counterparts. I can I can demonstrate by uh, yeah. You can see the SC130. It, it changes from a distance. 
like um here it looks okay of course it's a low model low poly model anyway low quality and then you go from distant it has an even lower detail model for this and there should be yeah there's another one it's easy to see the SU-130 because it's a big model and uh, you can see the differences way easier than lower models like you can see in, right in the middle of the screen we have those I don't know what they're called anyway sandbags or whatever you can see they even disappear from a certain distance and uh, various other props that you can see maybe even the chairs no the chairs remain <laughs> Anyway, so what else can we see? Let me see before I wrap this up. So we have the pit, not much to see here. Just a regular pit, even from outside you can see there's nothing. <laughs> it's pretty funny because I always thought there was some population back here. For some reason, I don't know why. But yeah, there's practically nothing around it or even beneath it. Yes, we can see below the map there's nothing, just the white surface. The skybox, <laughs> it's part of the skybox. So yeah, we can just, of course we can just shoot Shepard just like everyone does, it's it's a very very common thing to do, <laughs> many people do it when they play this uh, level for fun. So yeah, there's not much to, not much I chose to see, like, yeah, we have a huge cubic part here, which in the remaster this was open and it was uh, an extended part of the armory over here, which was cool, it was one of the few cool things the remaster did. <laughs> If you've watched my remaster gameplay stream, yeah, you'll see I complain about everything. I, I'm really disappointed with it, so yeah, whatever. It is what it is. So yeah, that's all of it. I think we had, uh, we've had enough. We've had enough of this level. There's not, really not much to see. There's no real reason to stretch this even further. So I guess we'll wrap this up over here. That's the first part. I will try my best to cover everything, every map, every single player map of course, <laughs> don't expect me to do maps that don't exist in the game. Oh, there is one map in the Spec Ops that doesn't exist in single player, that's the bridge map. We can see that at the end, at the very end of this video series. Let's uh, pray there will be a successful series. Anyway, uh, so, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, Next time we will uh, play, we will try and no clip in the team player level, which is the next, the direct sequel of this level. Anyway, thanks everyone for joining. See you next time. Bye bye.